<laughs> Resolution, do not sneeze that loud ever again. Minnie's jingling. Your jingle bells, that's Minnie's collar. She's really fancy right now. Hi. Hey everyone, welcome back to Primal Beauty Queen. I'm Dee, and today I'm gonna to be doing the resolutions tag created by Nikki Tutorials here on YouTube. I haven't done a tag video in a really long time, and I feel really horrible about it because all my friends are doing these really fun, amazing tags, and I just haven't had time to sit down and film them. The reason I chose this one to do is because Nikki is one of my favorite beauty gurus to watch on YouTube. She's so funny. Her makeup is on point constantly. This girl has amazing, amazing makeup artistry skills. And again, so funny. And she's always going on about how nobody tags her in videos. And so she created her own tag. So this tag is all about looking back on last year and looking forward to the new year. It's 10 questions long, so let's get started. The first thing is, name three things you did this year that you're proud of. This year was a really big year for me. This year has just been so amazing, and the three things that I'm most proud of are graduating law school, number one. That was a really hard three years, you guys. If any of you have ever gone to law school or grad school, you know how grueling it can be. So I made it through in one piece, mostly in one piece, <laughs> and I graduated, which is fantastic. The next thing is also career related. I passed the bar exam for New York State and I will in the spring be admitted as a full attorney in New York. The last thing that I'm really proud of this year is the growth of my blog and my channel. I think I started this year with like 100 something subscribers and as I'm speaking to you guys right now, I have about 920. I had my goal of getting to 1000 by the new year, but I got close enough and I can't thank you guys enough for supporting me and watching my videos and giving me all your suggestions. I love talking to you guys and I really, really love watching your videos and interacting with you all and you guys have made this so much fun for me and I really can't thank you enough. So thank you for helping me reach my goals for this year. Next thing is name one thing you wish you'd have done differently. During these really stressful study times this year, like my last semester of finals and leading up toward the bar exam. I was really terrible with my eating habits, and not that I gained a, a ton of weight or anything, I did gain a little bit, but I'm not really focused on that. As long as my clothes still fit, I don't care. Um, I was just getting sick from eating a bunch of sugar and a bunch, I ate gluten sometimes, which I know I'm sensitive to, not as much as some. I'm not allergic or anything, I don't have celiac, I'm not going to die if I eat gluten, but um, I do get headaches and I get lethargic and I get some digestive issues when I eat gluten and I ate it anyway and that was just really dumb of me so this year I'm going to try to minimize that um, sort of stress convenience eating. What was your biggest highlight this year? Wow I think probably graduating law school that was my biggest biggest highlight. Passing the bar is kind of uh, anticlimactic because they kind of just send you this email in the middle of the night and you stay up and wait for it and you see if you passed um, but you know, graduating law school was kind of a big, uh, you know, it's a big ceremony, all your family's there, we had a huge party, and um, my acapella group got to sing the national anthem at the ceremony, which is really, really cool. I was standing up there with four of my best friends and singing the national anthem to a stadium full of people, and that was really, really cool. What was your favorite beauty product this year? Oh. All of the things. Can I say that? Can I say everything? I guess that doesn't really count. So if I had to pick something, I would pick the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Pearl. What took me so long? Oh, oh, this little baby. This is the most world's most perfect highlighter. And I was never really into highlighter because I always thought they looked fake and like sparkly, and I was gonna look like a Edward Cullen situation. And I don't even like Twilight, so that was like not a good thing. But I found this, and it's just it's. So What was your least favorite beauty product this year? Ooh. I generally don't have too many fails because I do a lot of research and I watch a, watch and read a ton of reviews before I buy anything new. But I think my least favorite product of this year, if I had, had, had to choose, would be the CoverGirl Clean Whipped Cream Foundation. And this is not bad. I really, I still like it. But this is my least favorite because it breaks me out if I wear it too many days in a row. So, I mean, you can't, love something that makes your skin look like crap after you use it. Who do you want to thank for being amazing this year? Wow. 
That's a big one. I mean, it'd have to be a tie between my mom and Jeff. My mom is just always amazing. She's the best. Uh, you know, I can call her any time of the day or night. Exciting news or sad news or a question or need advice or whatever, she's the first person I call. And she's amazing every year. But this year, since it was such a huge year for me, um, she was extra, extra special. So thank you, Mom, for being amazing. And the other person I want to thank for being amazing this year is my fiance, Jeff. He packed up his life and moved with me to New York City so we could be together as we were planning our wedding and starting our life. While I knew people here from work um, and a lot of my friends were coming with me, he didn't really know anybody and he just packed up and moved with me and that was so, so amazing. So thank you, Jeff, for um, coming with me to New York and starting our life here and being just as excited about it as I am. Next four questions have to do with looking forward to the next year. So what well, the first one, number seven overall is what are the makeup slash beauty resolutions you have for next year? I need to maintain myself <laughs> a little better. I do so well. I have these big like spa nights and then I feel so good and my skin is great and my hair is all soft and pretty and shiny and my nails are done and blah, 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 blah after spa night. I have a big problem with maintaining that level of groomedness after spa night. So my beauty resolution for this year is to maintain my beauty routine in such a way that I don't need to just overhaul everything once a month because I have done such a crappy job of like exfoliating and putting lotion on. Like just do those little things every day to kind of maintain uh, my beauty routine instead of just waiting until it gets so bad that I need to just hole up in a cave for the night and like soak myself in coconut oil. Next thing is what are the fashion resolutions you have for next year? It's kind of tough to have fashion resolutions when you work in an office where you have to be business casual every day. Um, but I think that I am going to try to wear more black. And I know that that sounds crazy because everybody seems to wear black all the time and the resolution normally is wear less black and wear more color. But I hate wearing black um, because I my hair is so dark and I think it looks, I don't know, it's just such a cop out to me sometimes to wear black instead of, there's all these amazing neutrals out there that you can wear instead of black and black just seems like the easy thing that everybody goes toward and everybody grabs just because it's easy. Not that it will be my neutral of choice by any means, but I literally have like a black suit and a black pair of leggings and that's the only black clothing I own so I need to sort of get back into wearing that as a neutral and integrating it into my wardrobe in such a way that it doesn't look like the cop-out that I just automatically think it is and it looks like a part of my wardrobe that belongs there. What are your personal resolutions for next year? Well, I'm getting married in May and my biggest resolution is to start my married life off on the right foot and be the best wife I can be to my partner and my best friend, Jeff. Um, so that's the big thing, but I gotta get this wedding planned first, y'all. I guess my other personal resolution would be to really focus on taking care of my health a little bit more. Paleo has really helped with that, especially on the diet end of things, but I'm still really horrible at getting sleep. I'm really horrible at working out regularly, and I'm really horrible about drinking enough water. And those things are huge in maintaining my health. So I need to make sure that I do those things and really take care of myself because, you know, I tend to overwork because I really enjoy being busy and I enjoy doing a ton of stuff but I get run down and then I can't work as effectively as if I had just taken care of myself in the first place. So definitely my second resolution is to take care of myself a little more. Last question is name one thing you want to check off your bucket list for next year. I want to go to Europe. I've never been to Europe. I've never even been off the East Coast of the United States. Well, that's not true. I went to, I went on a cruise one time and Mexico was involved, but I've never really been off the East Coast of the United States and I can't wait to start traveling. Like when I have, now that I have a job, I kind of have a little bit more money to do those things. So 
I am really excited to maybe go to Europe on our honeymoon. If you guys have any suggestions about where to go, I am still looking to book hotels and flights and all that stuff for the honeymoon. So if you have any suggestions, if there are any places you love, I would really love to hear them. Leave them in a comment below or message me or tweet me or whatever. Show me pictures on Instagram. I would love, love, love to see that. All right, everyone, that's it for the resolutions tag. Thank you if you have a chance to watch this. Thank you so much for creating this tag. It was super fun and I hope you enjoyed watching this. Thank the rest of you all for watching as well. Thank you again to all of my subscribers for helping me reach my goals this year. If you haven't already subscribed, click this little button right here and help make my day. And I will talk to you guys soon. Have a wonderful, 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 happy new year. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.